Hello guys, it's Gil here from Machinars and this is my one-on-one -on -one tutorial about CAD in life. Okay, the first step is to create a new project. You should choose the same settings of your footage. So I will choose 72800p because it's my footage. And now I need to bring my files to my project bin. So we can double click here on the project bin. We can click on this icon or we can drag and drop, we can drag and drop from the folder. We can organize our files by clicking this icon right here and create some folders. I'm going to create one, a video folder and put my video inside. On the right side you have the clip monitor. You can watch your video right here and select the best piece of your video to edit. For example, I want my, my clip before and movement, something like here. So I thin out and to start right here and I trim in. But then I drag and drop to my timeline and it, it's already cut it. At the timeline is where everything happens. All your files, video, image, audio effects should be here in the end of the project. As you see, we have video tracks and audio tracks. You can delete and create more right click and insert track or delete track. I don't need this audio track, but it's attached to the video, as you see. So we right click on the video and ungroup clips. Now I can remove this audio file. I'm gonna take this other video right here and I want to start at the movement, trim and stop before she look at the camera. I don't want you looking looking at the camera. So I will end right here. And I drag and drop to the timeline. We have these two clips right here. As you see, this video just make a jump cut to another video. And I don't want it. If you zoom your timeline to this zoom tool, You can see in the corner of your video track, you have this red dot. So you just, you click and drag this red dot. You now have a fade out effect. And if you take this green dot on the other video, you have a fade in. And now you have fade in and out one video to another. And this is the effect we add automatically. And you can choose the fade right here and add manually. So I have the fade in and out, but I can also add more effects. For example, I can work with the colors. And for example, take the curves. I will search because it's more, it's more easy. And for example, the curve to this first video right here. And I have the properties on this effect compositing stack. Now I can, for example, bring the colors up more light and more contrast. And if you take this eye out, you can see the result. Some effects are able to animate, for example, this transform effect. We can animate it. It has a timeline right here. And we can create keyframes and for example, this position the size is big and this one is small. We already cut our video, but for example, if I want uh, some change right here, I can cut this piece of the video using the razor tool. We have here these three main tools. The selection tools, you can use the shortcut S. The razor tool, you can use the shortcut X and the spacer tool. The selection tool is just to select and move the objects. The razor, the name I already said, is to cut. You can also use the guide right here. You put the guide here, hold shift and press R and it cuts for you. But be careful because when you press shift and move the mouse, it follows the mouse. So you cannot move the mouse when you press shift. Just let it and and shift R, now selection tool, 
and I take I have this small one I want to transform just this small one to a bigger size now I have this jump cut to zoom and back and then a fade to fade we can also use images as you see right here it's a static and the spacer tool I didn't say what happened when we use it but it drags everything from the click through the end for example if I take like this guy right here and drag it to bring everything together this one is a nice tool when you have a lot of assets on the timeline it helps a lot I will bring this image to the beginning and I will, I will do the same I will put the fade out and the fade in we can also shift and select everything right here instead use the space tool and now we have to and for the last we have this soundtrack it's an audio track and also the audio has the same red and green dot so you can drag to fade out and fade in you can hide the track just clicking right here I will, I will hide the audio and I want to show you how to create text click right here in the project bin with the right button and add title clip we are doing a space bit so we should write something like a galaxy far far away I will use caps lock a galaxy far far away I will centralize everything and size 120 30. I'll change my font. Sometimes it doesn't work, but it's okay. And the color. I don't I don't remember what's the color of Star Wars text. But it's okay. A galaxy far far away. And you can add some gradient or outline, but for me it's good. And create the title. And the title will be an asset on the project beam. You just drag and drop to your timeline. I will zoom again to see more near. It's too fast. Yeah, my image file is it's not so big. So I will bring this everything to this side and make it more bigger. That's nice. I forgot to say something. When you start a project, the first thing you do is to save the project. Never forget to save your project. Adding Live is very unstable and it crashes every time. It's not a problem if your project is already saved. You just open it again. No problem. It saves on a text file, so sometimes it can recover it, but sometimes not. Sometimes you lose your job. So always say, okay, last thing, when you add an effect in the video, you can copy and paste the effects in another clip. Only the effects. So the curve and transform came to this other clip. And when you have a lot of assets happen here, it's a good idea to know this and how you know. I will remove it. And that is it. I mean, you already had an entire clip. Let's play.
And you can also add a fade out on the end. The last step is to render. So you go here on the project, render. And you choose MP4 because it's the most accepted format file for everything on the web. If your machine is good, you can hide the quality. You choose the patch to save your file right here and hit render. And the render is the process of take everything from your timeline and bring it to just one file. So if your machine is good, uh, your render will be fast. If your machine is bad, your render will be slow. It also depends how much stuff you have on the timeline. If you have lots of audio, video, images, text, lots of effects, so your computer have to calculate everything. So keep in mind, if you have a bad machine, don't use too much effects and try to optimize your timeline. That's it for today, guys. If you like this video, just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next video.